The first home we moved to was the home of Aileen Hall, who was a friend and client of my husband's hair design business. And um, we were on, on our honeymoon when I asked him where we were going to live, because I lived in New York, and I lived in Toronto, and I lived in Berlin, and I've never lived in a small town in my life. And he said, oh, I have it all arranged. Miss Aileen Hall was the first in Canada to run for NDP, and not successfully at the time, but this was in 1960. So we moved to her apartment, and then we proceeded to buy a house. We had no money. We went to the bank, and, the, and we said to the bank manager, we want to buy that house. We'll open a business in it on a handshake, and he said, okay. And that was that. So we bought the house and made a beauty salon on the main floor, and on the second floor and third, we moved into ourselves. And uh, it belonged to a Dr. Bapti, who belonged to the French Foreign Legion. And he uh, was one of the recipients of the Order of Canada, and et cetera, et cetera. Anyway, we still own that building. invited to uh, host one of Colonel McLaughlin's soirees. So uh, just to be there, there were many of us. My husband had to sit like you, and people were coming into the gardens, and he's looking at me, can't remember anyone's name because he's totally in a panic, and when you're in a panic, you can't think. And so he sees this man with a white suit, white beard, and a white cane, and he thought, oh God, he looks familiar. So he quickly looked down so he wouldn't have to say anything. And Michael Starr, who's our member of parliament, and they named the building after him, said, John, don't worry. I want you to meet Colonel Saunders of chicken fame. And you know how he's on all the pictures? And John said he looked exactly like that. So John said, I was there, looked up and said, oh, I'm so glad that I knew you, of course. <laughs> yeah. 